create our first program. And you're not going to think it's that exciting at first. But this right here, man, this program will teach you a couple things. We're going to create a blank program. And while that doesn't sound that exciting, and you're like, oh, well, what, what about learning the code? This will teach you a lot about how a PLC actually works. So we're going to open up RS Logics 500. And then you can either click the far left icon, which is the new icon, or go to File and New. Then we're going to scroll down to our PLC, which is a 1763. And we have a Series B. Um, and it's always nice to put a processor name, uh, just something to help you under identify the PLC, mainly because um, when you're on RS Links, that processor name will show up. So I'm just going to name this one blank. And there you go. We're done programming our first PLC. We are going to do a couple of other things. While this is a blank program, we're going to configure, one, our I.O. configuration, because on the end of our MicroLogix 1100, we have a 1762 IF2 OF2. And if we don't put that even in our blank program, it will fall. Then we're going to go to Channel Configuration. We're going to go to Channel 1, and we're going to unselect Boot P Enable. And we're going to type in an IP address of 192.168.1.10 and a subnet of 255.255.255.0. And we're going to click OK. And there you go. Our program is ready to download. Everybody remembers we download to a PLC, we upload from a PLC. So we're going to go to comms, system comms, and under Ethernet IP, we see our PLC. So we will download. And, okay, we need to save our program before we can, so we're just going to save it as blank. And it's going to warn us that we're overwriting the program that's in there with this program. We're going to switch from run mode to program mode. And now that it's done, we're going to switch back to run mode, and we're going to go online. So there you go. We are running a program in our PLC. So now that we have our blank program in, the question is, does a blank program do anything? And... The answer is yes, and this is going to lead into understanding how the scan cycle works. So to start with, what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up our input data file, and over on the left pane, you'll see there's some folders. You have help, controller, program files, and then data files, and underneath it, you have inputs. So double-click it, and then we see our inputs. So when you open it up, you'll see there's a bunch of zeros there. There may actually be some ones there, depending on exactly how you have yours wired. We have ours wired per our previous wiring enough to get started video. The top row are the inputs that you actually see over here on the top. And now it says Z, so you see you have I slash zero and it goes through I slash nine. That is this first row, zero through nine. So what happens if we push a button? We have a blank program running, right? You can see we're going to push our green button, which is wired to input zero. And over here, you can see it goes to one. I release it, it goes back to zero. Hit it, one, zero. So this button, which is wired to input zero on the PLC, is changing the state of this zero in here. Okay, so we can show an input status. Can we actually control anything from an output? So let's find out. Leave that data table open, and let's go back over here under Data Files, and let's double-click on our output data table. I'm going to drag it over where you can see it. And same as the input data table, output 0 through 5 are output 0 through 5 on the PLC. So we have output 0 wired to our green light. Now, we have no program in here. This is a blank program. But if we go manually into that data cell and enter a 0, you can see that our green light turns on. So how does this happen? Well, that's because even an empty PLC program is still doing what we call a PLC scan. Okay, so some of you probably have some really blank looks on your face after this video. Uh, next week, we'll be going a little deeper into the PLC scan cycle and really start understanding this. But this has been a really good primer to help you understand that a PLC does many more things than just simply execute its code. Till next time. See ya. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, 
PLC trainers, and more.